Sister Wives, Janelle Brown gives special update on Garrison's cats. And Janelle Brown gives sweet update on Gabe. I will explain everything. Watch this video until end. Hey lovely viewers. Welcome to my 2S Gossip channel. After Garrison Brown passed away at the beginning of March, many Sister Wives fans worried about his cats. The TLC star was an avid cat lover and adopted three shelter cats, Kathy, Patches, and Miz. Buttons. Naturally, fans had questions about the cats. Whereabouts. Janelle Brown assured followers that the pets had loving homes with Garrison's siblings, but didn't provide much an update at the time. This evening, Janelle gave another update on the cats, delighting Sister Wives fans. In the days and weeks following Garrison Brown's death, Sister Wives fans donated to Flagstaff Animal Shelters. One shelter received so many donations in his name they chose to rename one of the rooms after him. Garrison's death was a horrific situation, but fans are happy to see that his legacy lived on. But what exactly became of his beloved cats? This evening, Janelle shared an update on Garrison's pets, although she did incorrectly name Ms. Buttons. Garrison's cats Kathy and Patches are thriving at Logan and Michelle's place and Ms. Boots is living her best life with Aspen and Mitch. It was awesome that we could continue to take care of them like he would, Janelle shared on Instagram. Overall, Janelle's followers felt so happy to see that family members stepped up to adopt the cats. Michelle Petty, Logan's wife, previously shared an update about Kathy on her own social media page. She posted a photo of herself petting the beautiful gray cat with the caption, Kathy requires a 10 scratch toll payment before I begin the morning. Janelle's followers flooded the comments section, thrilled to see the cats enjoying their new homes. Fans wrote kind words including, This makes the whole sisters. Wives fan base, very, very happy and hopefully brings the Brown family a lot of contentment. Wonderful news, still being loved by Garrison's family. That would make him happy. I'm so happy they have loving homes with the people who loved Garrison the most. They were lucky to have him and lucky to have them now. So wonderful that they stepped up to care for his babies. Logan, Michelle, Aspen, and Mitch all keep relatively low profiles on social media, so it's not likely. Fans will see many updates from them. However, Janelle may share more updates on Garrison's kitties in time. Since Garrison Brown's death in early March 2024, Sister Wives fans have been increasingly worried about his younger brother, Gabriel. Sadly, Gabe was the family member who discovered Garrison's body after his passing. The brothers were incredibly close, leaving fans worried for Gabe's mental health and general well-being. In the weeks following Garrison's death, Janelle Brown has been incredibly active and involved in her children's lives. She spent time in North Carolina with Maddie Brown Brush's family before going to see the eclipse with Logan and Michelle. And now, she's provided a sweet update on Gabe. Losing a family member is always a difficult process. But Sister Wives fans suspected that the Browns were heavily impacted by Garrison's loss after all the drama that happened on screen last season. It's no secret that Garrison, Gabriel, and several other children had a fractured relationship with Cody Brown. Fans are worried about Garrison's surviving siblings and hope they're doing all right. According to Janelle, things are starting to perk up around her home once again. On her Instagram stories, she shared that she had cooked a homemade meal for the kids. They're enjoying their time together and Gabe clearly has a pretty big appetite. Trying to cook a little for my Flagstaff kids, she captioned the photo. When I mentioned cheeseburger pizza, Gabe said he would eat a whole one himself. Janelle's followers are delighted to see that Gabe is spending time with his mother and eating well too. The TLC star and family throw a Thanksgiving dinner in April. Fans are excited to see that Gabriel appears to be in better spirits. And according to Janelle, this isn't the first time Gabe has done something fun and memorable following his brother's tragic death. Earlier in the week, Janelle revealed, They had a Thanksgiving dinner in April. I'm back in Flagstaff this week. Gabe's friends held a Friendsgiving, today as one of the group is an international student at NOW, had never been to a Thanksgiving and will be returning home at the end of the semester, Janelle shared on Instagram. She attached a photo of Gabriel and his friends happily seated around a table full of delicious food. 
I got to enjoy the meal and did none of the cooking. It was fun. We got to sample some. Australian dishes, thanks L. Sausage rolls and lamingtons. Recently, Sister Wives star, Maddie Brown, gave fans some insight in a few areas she is struggling. While this is an extremely difficult time in all of the Browns' lives, Maddie opens up about her journey through anger and pain. Maddie Brown is honest about her struggles. While the Brown family laid Garrison Brown to rest in March, they are all experiencing different forms of grief since his departure. Unfortunately, grief is accompanied by many mixed emotions. For instance, there are times it comes with anger and pain, but it also can exist with joy at the same time. Understandably, Maddie Brown has many emotions right now after the loss of her brother. However, she also is sorting through anger that existed prior to Garrison's death. On Instagram, Maddie opens up about a journey she started in November. On Maddie Brown's Instagram page, she offers some insight into the self-work she has been doing. She says, this past November, I embarked on a month-long journey of gratitude, driven by my curiosity about its profound effects on our well-being. The insights I gained were nothing short of astounding, revealing how a simple practice could significantly alter our emotional landscape. Undeniably, she is focusing on the areas she can change and attempting to release what she can't control. Maddie Brown is working through her anger and pain. A long sister wives star, Maddie Brown's journey, she is discovering she has deep-rooted anger. While she doesn't elaborate where it stems, she has lived through a lot of trauma in her childhood. Previously she has spoken about the relationship strain between her and her dad, Cody Brown. She says, Lately, I've been holding on to a lot of anger, feeling it gnaw at me day after day. It's becoming a heavy load to carry, and I'm starting to feel ready for a change. Perhaps the loss of Garrison Brown has ignited a newfound perspective in her life. She shares, I'm not quite ready to commit to another month of focused gratitude or to completely let go of my anger yet. However, I am ready to wake up without that immediate sense of irritation and to not let anger color my entire day. Likewise, Maddie Brush is finding ways to redefine herself especially for her family. She adds, it seems that cultivating a softer heart could be the first step, and gratitude feels like the right tool for this. Undoubtedly, the stress of being on camera during many of her formative years was difficult on her and the Brown family. Admittedly, Maddie and Caleb Brush chose not to be a regular feature in Sister Wives full-time, but make some appearances here and there. Furthermore, she tries to keep fans informed through her social media. During parts of Maddie Brown's message, she was quite cryptic. However, she makes it clear she is putting in the work to travel through these strong emotions she feels. Then she continues saying, this journey seems to be filled with both shadows and light. The absence of what was once familiar is profoundly painful, yet the gratitude for the moments we shared is overwhelmingly powerful. Seemingly, she is processing Garrison Brown's death and maybe also the grief the childhood she could have had. Additionally, Maddie Brown, much like her mother, Janelle Brown is trying to stay positive. Admittedly, she is striving to allow joy, gratitude, and happiness to exist simultaneously with grief and pain. In her message she says, I know that it's perfectly okay to find small moments of gratitude amidst the pain. Embracing gratitude doesn't mean ignoring our hurts. I think it means allowing ourselves to appreciate the full breadth of our experiences, the bitter and the sweet. Heartbreaking body cam audio has surfaced from the moment that officers discovered Garrison Brown's body last month. The Sister Wives star committed suicide in early March and the Flagstaff Police Department responded to the scene. In the audio, you can hear Garrison's roommates express tremendous remorse and regret for not checking on him. Officers enter Garrison Brown's apartment in the audio. You can hear the moment that they discover the TLC star's body in his room. One officer mentions that he has moved a gun that was in Garrison's lap to provide medics with access to his body. However, he also audibly notes that the weapon was unloaded when he moved it. This might suggest someone else touched or moved the gun before the authorities arrived. Then, you can hear the cop asking for someone to notify the medical examiner. It was clear that Garrison Brown had been dead a long time before his body was discovered. The death appeared to be a suicide, 
but officers did not recover a note of any kind. A bullet casing was recovered at the scene though. The audio also reveals the moments that Garrison's roommates learn about his death. The officer called one roommate, Cheyenne, to tell her the news. She can be heard breaking down in tears. Garrison's roommates share regrets about not checking on him. Cheyenne told the officer that she heard something like a pop the night before. At the time, she said she did not realize or even think that it could be a gunshot. She said that Garrison recently confided in her about having a problem with alcohol. Emotionally, she apologizes for not checking on him the night before. Addison, another roommate of Garrison's, is also on the audio. She learned about his suicide over the phone as well and she is clearly upset by the news. Similarly, she tells the officer that he was suffering from depression and dealt with alcoholism as well. She believed that he was drinking the night of his death. Garrison Brown's brother, Gabe Brown, was the person who found him in his Arizona home. After several concerning text messages, Janelle Brown asked her children if one of them was available to go check on Garrison. She was concerned about her son's mental health. Gabe Brown volunteered to go check on his brother. However, upon his arrival, he discovered Garrison's lifeless body and called the authorities to the scene. Thanks for watching this video. What do you think about this video told on comment box and subscribe your channel.